Today, I'm putting Connor McDavid in the past NHL and seeing how many championship rings he can win. For the start of every season, we will be spinning this wheel to determine what team he is playing on for that season. And the way EA does alumni teams, Gretzky would appear on St. Louis, LA, Edmonton, and the Rangers. I took the time to edit the roster so every player 83 and above only repeats on rosters when it's absolutely necessary, which is only a couple times. And each player landed on the team that they played for the most. For example, Gretzky is only on Edmonton. And we will be giving Connor McDavid one year with 10 different teams in the past. It's time to determine Connor McDavid's first team in the past NHL. He's joining the second best team, the Detroit Red Wings. This should be fun. McDavid will be playing with Brandon Shanahan and Gordie Howe on the first line. The Detroit Red Wings would finish with a 55, 25, and two record, earning 112 points for third in the entire league. McDavid led the team in points with 79, while also leading it in goals with 37. 63 games played for Sawchuk, 44 wins, a 919 save percentage, and a 2.24 goals against average with four shutouts. Wayne Gretzky led the entire league in points with 104, while also leading it in goals with 50. And Wall had the most wins in the entire league with 47. Wayne Gretzky grabs his first Stanley Cup of the day. They beat Boston in seven games in the Stanley Cup Finals. We would lose to Boston in the first round in six games. McDavid with six points in the playoffs, two goals. Regular season MVP would be Maurice Richard. James Norris would go to Chris Chelios for our Detroit Red Wings. And it would be Paul Coffey actually winning playoff MVP over Gretzky. Harry Sawchuk also grabbed the Vesna. Really expecting the Detroit Red Wings to be a Stanley Cup winning squad with McDavid. It didn't happen. And now we're going to one of the worst teams the Columbus Blue Jackets. On the bright side, we get to watch McDavid play with Rick Nash and Scott Hartnell. McDavid played amazing with Columbus, 95 points to lead the team, Nash behind him at 75, and McDavid leading the team in goals with 40. On the downside, the team finishes with a 36, 38, and eight record earning 80 points for 27th in the entire league. Mark Dennis, 25 wins in 57 games played, five shutouts at 913 save percentage and a 2.75 goals against average. Bauer and Vakun would tie for most wins in the NHL with 43, while Brett Hall would lead the entire league in points with 101. And Daniel Sedin leads the entire league in goals with 52. Well, it must be 1967 because the Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions. They beat Winnipeg in five games in the Stanley Cup Finals. On the show playoff stats in year number one, Howard Chuck led the playoffs with 31 points and 19 goals, but they still couldn't win the Cup. Brett Hall wins regular season MVP. Paul Coffey wins the Norris. And Daryl Sittler is your playoff MVP, while Johnny Bauer takes home the Vesna. I knew that season wasn't going to go well because Columbus is not high overall at all, but we'll be joining, I thought it was the defending champs, the Maple Leafs, but it is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Another stinky team, but we do get to see Connor McDavid play with Martin San Luis, so there's an upside, I guess. Somehow, someway, Tampa Bay finishes 14th in the entire league with a 42, 33, and seven record, earning 91 points. They will make the playoffs which is a big surprise to me. And McDavid would lead the team in points with 76 while also leading the team in goals with 37. Wayne Rollison, 35 wins in 67 games, played a 9-2-1 save percentage and a 2.58 goals against average with seven shutouts. Johnny Bauer would grab the most wins in the league once again with 41. Brett Hall back-to-back -back lead leaguing point totals, 104 points. He would also tie Gretzky for the most goals in the league with 61. Yeah, I'm just going to say this right now. If Tampa Bay beats Montreal in this playoff series, I'll run around naked on camp. Camera. Well, your eyeballs are safe as the New Jersey Devils are your Stanley Cup champions after beating Vancouver in seven games. I don't know how Vancouver is that good, but it is interesting. I hate that we're landing on all the bad teams except for the first Ben McDavid. Zero goals, four assists, assisting San Luis on all his playoff goals. Daniel and Henrik Sedin, perfect unison, 33 points each, with Daniel Sedin having more goals at 16. Back to back regular season MVPs for Brett Hull. Jorge Salming is able to win the James Norris. Jason Arnett, of all people, is your Conn Smythe winner with Billy Smith grabbing the Vesna. I demand a fun team. Give me a fun team. That's a fun team. The St. Louis Blues, McDavid and Brett Hall. I'm excited for this year. McDavid gets to play with Keith Kachuk and Brett Hall. And Connor McDavid would lead the team in points with 115, while Brett Hall would lead the team in goals with 47. Oh, and I forgot to mention the fact that we finished second in the entire league, earning 180 points with a 57, 21 and four record. Curtis Joseph, 43 wins, 64 games played, four shutouts, a 911 save percentage and a 2.76 goals against average. Wayne Gretzky doesn't want to see McDavid on top. He finished first in the entire league in points with 119, beating out McDavid by four points 
We'd also lead the entire league in goals with 54. And Cujo would finish first in the league in terms of wins with his 43. Connor McDavid is off to his first Stanley Cup Finals after beating the Hartford Whalers in seven games. He chooses not to touch the trophy, boys. Hopefully that's good luck. He gets the joy of facing the best team in the league, the Montreal Canadiens in the Stanley Cup Finals. Game five of the Stanley Cup Finals, St. Louis on the brink of elimination, were in OT. Let's see what happens. It's in front, Belly could end it all big save, Joseph. Richard's gotta be tired, he gets decked. Alexander Steen also gets decked, but gives it to Federko. He can't bury, no! And it's Unger, or Unger, I'm not sure which one. Give it to a big clap bomb, but it's no good. Also, if you like watching gameplay in these snares, let me know, and if you don't, also let me know. Hickey scores! We're going to game six, baby! Let's go. Sadly, after all that drama, the Montreal Canadiens are your Stanley Cup champions. They would beat St. Louis in six games. All would lead our team in playoff points with 33. McDavid right behind him at 32, and the rest of the team wasn't even close. 17 goals for Hull to lead, McDavid at 12. It was Hull who led the entire playoffs in points as well as in goals. Maurice Richard was right behind him in goals with 16. Wayne Gretzky gets regular season MVP. Paul Coffey gets the Norris. And Maurice Richard, unsurprisingly, wins the Smile. Well, Terry Sawchuk also gets his second Vesna of the day. I really wanted to win that season. It was going fantastic until the end. We'll be joining the Whalers, who we almost lost. The Whalers have no one. They have Nelson, Emerson, and Brian Prop playing with McDavid on the first line. And you've seen how bad that team was, but somehow, someway, the team finishes fourth in the entire league, earning 104 points with a 50, 28, and 4 record. Connor McDavid led the team in points and goals, and it wasn't even close. 84 points the closest was prop with 61 and it's 41 goals the closest was emerson with 23. john burke 32 wins in 68 games played six shutouts a 920 save percentage and a 2.40 goals against the average with patrick waugh having the most wins in the entire league at 47 and maurice richard leading the entire league in points with 100 while wayne gretzky led the entire league in goals with 58 and we blew a three to one series lead against vancouver in round number one david in seven playoff games had nine points and three goals leading the team in points tying for first on the team in goals and we had the exact same finals st louis versus montreal and the same outcome montreal wins in six games our memorial trophy goes to maurice richard regular season mvp Harry robinson is your james norris winner maurice richard is also your playoff mvp while bouchard on the nordiques is your vesna trophy winner well we're halfway through the simulations who will mcdavid be playing on next the la Kings. Should be a fun one as McDavid will get to play with Luke Robitaille and Marcel Dion. LA finished with a 53 at 25 and 4 record, earning 110 points for fourth in the entire league. McDavid will lead the entire league in points with 101, while Robitaille led the entire league in goals with 40. McDavid right behind him at 39. Bakun, 44 wins in 69 games played, six shutouts for a 916 save percentage and a 2.50 goals against average. The McDavid curse lives as he's not first in the entire league in points. Peter Forsberg would beat him out with 103 points. In terms of goals, it was Wayne Gretzky once again with 51. Patrick Waugh led the entire league and wins with 46. Well, the moment a lot of people might have been waiting for is finally happening. It's McDavid versus Gretzky in a playoff series, but they're down 3-1, to one, so we're going to go to the Fancy Sim and see if they can claw their way back. And guess what we got, boys? OT Gretzky versus McDavid. Game 6. McDavid needs the win to force game seven. Oh, dude, McDavid in that jersey is looking fire. I'm not going to lie. Here it is. McDavid versus Gretzky. Who will win the faceoff? Goes to Gretzky. To coffee. Hello. To, to Smith. To Coffee. It's right there for Curry. And he buries. The dream is dead. Gretzky moves on to the conference finals. Need a Gretzky. There it is. The Gretzky McDavid handshake. We've seen it for half a second. I'll take it. And the New York Islanders beat the Edmonton Oilers in six games the Stanley Cup Finals to lift the cup. McDavid, five goals, nine assists for 14 points. Gretzky led the entire league in playoff points with 30 and playoff goals with 21. It wasn't even close. And Connor McDavid is able to capture his first regular season MVP. Nystrom gets the con Smythe while the King Henrik Lundqvist is your Vesna winner. Who will McDavid be joining next? It is going to be, don't, I'm, McDavid is San Jose Sharks bound. David gets to play with Owen Nolan and Mr. Johan Garpenlov, if I even said that right. David has done it a 46, 31 and five record, 97 points for 11th in the entire league. They do make the playoffs. McDavid with the absolute carry job, 111 points for first on the team, as well as dropping his most goals 
of the entire day. 52 goals. The closest was Nolan with 28. If getting the buck of 34 wins and 64 games played, four shutouts, a 914 save percentage, and a 2.63 goals against average, I don't even want to look at Vesa Toskala. I just want to pretend he doesn't exist. McDavid is finally your point leader in the NHL. 111 points. Morenz was the closest to him with 98. Gretzky's just showing off though, 65 goals to McDavid's 52 for first in the entire league. Patrick Waugh, once again, most goalie wins with 43. David faces his former team, the LA Kings, in round number one. This will be the biggest series win in this channel's history if we can get it done. Ah, uh, yeah, we didn't quite get it done. We lost in five games, and the Edmonton Oilers, Stanley Cup champions for the second time today, beating Montreal in seven games. McDavid captures back to back regular season MVPs. Larry Robinson wins the James Norris. Paul Coffey gets the Conn Smythe, while Vakun gets the Vesna. Before we boys, who is McDavid going to be joining? It is the Toronto Maple Leafs. This should be interesting. We'll be trying Connor McDavid on the wing with Toronto. He'll be playing with my favorite player of all time, Matt Sundin and Frank Mahovlich. Toronto would finish 10th in the entire league with a 46, 32 and four record earning 96 points. Connor McDavid leading in points with 83 and goals with 41. Johnny Bauer, 36 wins in 69 games played. Not great. Three shutouts, a 9-1-0 save percentage and a 2.66 goals against average. Game seven, first round against the Detroit Red Wings. First period, one to nothing Detroit. Second period, two to one Toronto. Abel is able to tie the game, which is not great. Toronto power play, can't bear. Yes, they can, Mahovlik on Sawchuk. And another one, Doug Gilmore. I think we're gonna move on to the second round. Larionov, it's a game seven for Toronto. I was gonna say chokes are well known, but they do not choke. We're moving on. I'm winding down. Winner moves on to the conference finals. Bellivo could end it before OT. Don't do it. He has a chance. Big save Johnny Bauer and we are OT bound. Big clap on what a block. I don't know who that was, but you deserve a cookie. McDavid, use those wheels. He's dead. Shard's turn to use the wheels. I believe that to be Ari to Steve shot. Johnny Bauer keeps us in it. Robinson, don't you dare to Steve shot to Moren's big save Bauer. First line is on to end the OT. Sundin McDavid scores. We're going to the conference finals. Nine seconds remaining in overtime. And once again, the Toronto Maple Leafs find themselves in game seven, this time in the conference finals against the New York Islanders. First period, one to nothing Islanders. Second period, Two to nothing Islanders. Wendell Clark gets one back. Let's go. High game. Mahovlik ties the game. I still feel like I'm saying that name wrong. Mahovlik, Mahovlik. It's one of the two. Either way, game seven, conference finals. And you know what time it is. Overtime. Sundin wins it to Salming. Big shot. Wall on the rebound. Mahovlik finds McDavid. No way. What a save, Billy Smith. I'm heartbroken. Delayed penalty, Toronto. I think the dream might be dead. Big save, Bauer. Krupp, Pinelli, Potvin, nice from the puck movement is insane right now for the Islanders. But Toronto does touch. They're on the penalty kill though. Charlie Conacher with the dagger of a tripping penalty. This is about to be nasty. They win the face off. LaFontaine, big save, Bauer. Trottier, LaFontaine, he buries it. I knew it. I knew the second the penalty happened. That are a Cinderella, not really a Cinderella story, but our wild playoff run would finally be coming to an end. And the New York Islanders are your Stanley Cup champions, beating St. Louis in seven games. McDavid leading the team in playoff points with 20 and in playoff goals with 10. Sutter would win the Con Smythe for the Islanders and Sawchuck would grab another Vesna. McDavid is running out of time for one of these Stanley Cup things, so he better get a good team. The Calgary Flames are definitely interesting. McDavid gets the honor of playing with Theo Fleury and Jerome Ginla. Calgary would finish sixth in the entire league with a 47, 25, and 10 record, earning 104 points. McDavid would lead the team in points with 80. He had 37 goals, but it'd be Joe Newendike who led in goals with 39. Mike Vernon, five foot nine legend, 42 wins, 72 games played, six shutouts, a 914 save percentage, and a 2.55 goals against average. Trevor Kidd let us down very badly. Wayne Gretzky would lead the entire league in points with 93, while also leading the entire league in goals with 49. And Cujo would grab most wins in the league with 44. The boyhood dream would come true. The Vancouver Canucks are your Stanley Cup champions after sweeping the New York Islanders in the finals. We lost to Vancouver in six games. 
after beating the Quebec Nordiques in seven. Connor McDavid, 11 points, four goals. McDonald led the team, him and Nilsson at 13 points. Lanny McDonald had seven goals to lead the team. Henrik Sedin is your Colin Smythe winner with Patrick Waugh winning the Vesna. And for the final year, I will not be spinning the wheel as I'm sure a lot of people want to see McDavid play with Gretzky. We're putting McDavid on the Oilers for their 10th and final season. And here is the final lineup, Gretzky, Curry, McDavid. Don't ask me why Gretzky's wearing number 97 instead of McDavid, who's wearing number 95. I don't have an answer. And the team would finish second in the entire league, a 57, 21 and four record earning 118 points. The Montreal Canadiens just went off for 60 wins. And the first line definitely lives up to the hype. 57 goals for Gretzky to lead the team, 112 points also leading the team. McDavid scored 46 goals for 54 assists, 100 points total. Grant for 41 wins in 60 games played, three shutouts, a 9.07 save percentage, and a 2.76 goals against average. Obviously, Gretzky led the entire league in points with his 112. Richard was close with 108, and Gretzky led the entire league in goals with 57. Hall was close with 54. David's last chance to win a cup in the old timey hockey sim. He's facing the defending champs in round number one. I honestly don't see this team losing a seven game series. I won't be shocked if it happens. They sweep Vancouver. They face the Nordiques in round number two. McDavid and Gretzky, one goal away from the Stanley Cup Finals. They have a three to one series lead right now. So a loss here wouldn't be crazy. Buddy, Messier, the movement, it's everywhere. They rip the shot. They score. Glenn Anderson with the tip in front. And the Edmonton Oilers are moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals. I'm sure it's a little weird not seeing Gretzky with the C on this Edmonton team, though. Will McDavid touch the trophy this time? He does not once again. Do they ever touch it? Is it random or do they always choose not to touch it? I actually don't know. Final playoff series of the day. Edmonton versus Detroit. Battle of the Titans. Montreal would have been even sweeter. And we will be going to game seven. Winner takes all. Period number one. No score. Period number two. No score. I low-key want to jump in and watch the third period. Yari Curry berries to make it one to nothing. We'll jump in if it's close at the end. I mean, we're jumping in regardless for the celebration for either team. It remains one to nothing. We have jumped in a minute 54 remaining. One to nothing Edmonton. Like I said, a winner takes all. Glenn Anderson with the steal. He's gone. Big save, but he scores on the rebound. A minute three remaining. I think Edmonton has this in the bag. Chris Chalios rips it, it's blocked, gets it back, tries again, still blocked, Lindstrom, what a shot, but no goal. And Lord Stanley is coming out the case with seven seconds remaining. It's nearly impossible for Edmonton to blow this. Time winding down, three, two, one. The Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid, Wayne Gretzky are your Stanley Cup champions. What a way to end it. Here he comes, baby, Connor McDavid. All the Edmonton alumni celebrating behind him. He is a Stanley Cup champion wearing number 95, which I still don't understand, but we'll let it slide for some reason. Let's go, baby. No, the computers are choosing. I wanted Gr McDavid to pass the cup to Gretzky, please. No, I guess I'll accept Mark Messier. I really wanted McDavid to pass the cup to Gretzky. But I forgot it's the CPU playing, so I don't get the option. Wayne Gretzky would lead in playoff points with 32. McDavid right behind him with 31. They both had 12 goals to lead the team. Gretzky would win the Conn Smythe, as we already knew. And Mike Vernon would win the Vesna. When it's all said and done, McDavid would play 820 games for 412 goals. Earn 512 assists for a grand total of 924 points. That is going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed, let me know who you would like me to do this with next, as I plan on doing this with a bunch of players. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.